Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Busty here and I wanted to come on and talk about five different signs that your testosterone or androgen levels would be off. A lot of times we don't think about our testosterone levels or androgens, you know, I might be like, what, what is even an androgen, right? How does, what does this even matter? This is a really important hormone that is present in the female body. It is not the major hormone, right? Most of the time when you think of testosterone, you think of the male body and how important testosterone is for the male body. Yes, but testosterone does play a really important role in the female body as well. Testosterone is really important for, <laughs> I put it last on the list here, but this is like one of the number one drivers for libido, right? If you're like, oh yeah, I haven't, haven't really had a libido recently. I, mm, I'm not really sure what's going on there. We need to take a look at what your testosterone levels are doing. That's a really key sign that something is really off in your system. Testosterone also helps your system build and maintain lean muscle, helps give you that energy, that oomph, all of that stuff. So if you are having a hard time getting results with the workouts that you're doing, it could be your testosterone, right? This is why we do Dutch tests. This is why we have to look at what your hormone levels are doing specifically to make sure we can see your levels here. Um, so I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you to be able to get your own Dutch test sent to you, delivered to you, and then you take the test and we go over it and, you know, look at what custom recommendations would be for you specifically. This is such an amazing, amazing tool to be able to see what your system is doing right now and be able to get custom recommendations. So other things to really look at when you're looking at your testosterone levels if you've been living, losing a lot of scalp hair, right? If you're like, oh my gosh, my hair's been falling out like all over the place. I brush my hair after I shower and there's a ton of hair in the brush. It's been going on for a while. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, I'm worried. I'm concerned. That could be your testosterone. But if you also have an increase in body hair, you could be like, yeah, my legs seem hairier or I feel like I'm getting hair in different parts of my body that I didn't before. That could be your testosterone levels. Increase in facial hair. For some gals, it's like, oh yeah, I got laser hair removal or I got laser on my chin and it keeps coming back. What is, is the laser just not working? No, it could be your testosterone levels that are creating this hormonal imbalance in your system. Acne. Acne is one a big factor that lets you know that your hormones are off and it's not just acne anywhere. Specifically, it can be along the jawline, chin area. It can creep up into the cheeks and that lets you know that your testosterone levels are off. There's so many things people do to try and um, balance hormones or really help clear up testosterone, but if you're not quite sure what your hormone levels are, then it's really hard to target this specifically. That's why we do judge tests, that's why we look at everything going on in your system, making sure we are making the absolute best recommendations for you moving forward. Yes, so go in the comments, click that link, get your own Dutch test sent to you. If you're looking for other resources, on your hormonal health. I have my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, so you can get these sent right to you and read them, fantastic resources. I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution, and my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy, where you can subscribe to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. And then I also have my tinctures for your cycle, tinctures for your cycle, one for estrogen, one for progesterone, and this really helps your system create and maintain the correct amount of hormone for your body. So. That's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, let me know if you need any other guidance on some of these symptoms here because it can be related to your cortisols, but oftentimes it is your testosterone levels.